Join hundreds of students who excel in maths by learning from the mathstutor.com.au. Through hundreds of comprehensive video maths lessons, a passionate teacher shares his expertise, unique teaching style and methods with you. Go to themathstutor.com.au and join up now. www.themathstutor.com.au Making maths easy. Don't forget to tell your friends. <laughs> Pythagoras' theorem. Have you heard of it? Do you know what it's about? Well, Pythagoras is a person's name. A Greek mathematician by the name of Pythagoras. And theorem is basically the theory that he came up with. He discovered a very important theory that we actually apply throughout mathematics. And this theory has got to do with right angled triangles. What did he find out? He found out a special relationship that exists in all right angled triangles and their sides. Let's see what he actually found out. Looking at this right angled triangle, we can see that of course it has three sides and of course it has a right angle, hence right angled triangle. He found out that the hypotenuse, what is the hypotenuse? It's the longest side in a right angled triangle. Now this hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle all the time. The hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. Now this hypotenuse, Pythagoras found out that if you square it, it equals to the other two short sides squared and added together. So in maths, we write it in a formula like this. He found out that the hypotenuse squared, here we marked it as c, so c squared equals the other two short sides squared added together. We mark the other two short sides with a and b. So the formula is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. He found out that the hypotenuse squared will always equal to the other two short sides squared and added together. This will only work in right angled triangles. So this is a special relationship that only applies to right angled triangles. So how, we can, how can we actually use this in maths? If we have a right angled triangle and one of the sides is missing, we can actually use this rule and this concept to find the other missing side. Today we're going to see how to find the missing hypotenuse using Pythagoras. Let us look at this example here. We have this right angled triangle and we notice that the hypotenuse is missing and it's marked with an x. Now the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. It is the longest side and here it's marked in black. So we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find the missing hypotenuse. We know it's a right angle triangle, that means Pythagoras can work. Let's see how we're gonna do that. Well, first we write the formula down. The formula states that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Well, c is our hypotenuse, and a and b can be a here, b here, or a here, b here. It doesn't really matter, as long as we know a and b are the two short sides, and c is always the hypotenuse. Now, let's substitute the information to see if we can find x. Okay. C squared, we know it is the hypotenuse, so it's actually x squared. A squared plus b squared are the two short sides. A, we'll put it as 12 squared plus b squared, 5 squared. It doesn't really matter, a, b or b, a, as long as we know they are the two short sides. A and b are always the two short sides. Hypotenuse squared equals short side squared plus short side squared. Let's see how we can work it out. X squared. Now 12 squared plus 5 squared. 12 squared, 144. And 5 squared is 25. Now we add them together. The hypotenuse squared equals 
the two short sides squared and added together, 144 plus 25, 169. So x squared is 169. Hang on, we want x, we don't want x squared. So the opposite of x squared, the opposite of squared is square root. So we square root this side and that side to get rid of the squared. We're left with x, square root of 169, 13. That means the hypotenuse is 13 units long. This is 12, this is 5, the longest side in this case here is 13.